What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! How do we know where to start looking? The tracking beacon I shot into Mare West's ankle will allow us to locate him. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just gotta make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey! They're not bears on unicycles! You are under arrest! Oh, time to lose this costume. <laughs> Cause we're in Russia! Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, he was putting us on, huh? <laughs> right? What do, you, what do you think of that? <laughs> Chevy? Right? That, that would have passed for funny in one of your movies, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Gentlemen, let me put your minds at ease. I know why you are here, and I mean to help you. Oh! <laughs> well, terrific. The truth is, the reactivation of a Cold War sleeper spy would be an embarrassment to my government. On the scale of our 1981 failed Czechoslovakian occupation outpost, which was penetrated by Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, and their ragtag band of misfit soldiers who didn't even graduate. They slept through the graduation ceremony and somehow managed to come out of the manhole wearing clean press suit, as you say. So, the long and the veiny of it is you're going to help us out, right? I will provide you with transportation, passports, food, supplies, everything from A to backwards R. Well, thank you so much for your help, Mr. Putin. Would you like to see Russian cutaway gag? Yeah, sure. Here is Russian cutaway gag. I... There you go. Hey, Horace, give us three shots of your best bourbon. And have that Russian waiter I like bring it over. La 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 Boy, you wouldn't guess from that smile that all his kids were stillborn, huh? Hey Cleveland, come here, check out my onboard computer navigation system. Standard left turn ahead. Spanish? Bop a la izquierda aya. Yakov Shmina. In Soviet Russia, car drives you. That's fancy, you know. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! <laughs>